Okay, now CAF Champions League. You know, you know, we were talking last Friday. Look, there are some teams that we feel that can make it through. We're looking at Rivers United. We're looking at Rangers. Wicked tourists, we they didn't stand a chance. If anybody didn't do the business at home, so it was always going to be difficult for them going away from home and trying now to win what they couldn't do at home. They won at home, but it was very slim. And now going away, but then CAF Confederations Cup, no Nigerian team. But the CAF Champions League, Rivers United, 4 nil bashing. Were you surprised by that result? I wasn't really surprised, uh, given the way Rivers United actually prepared for the season. You know, uh, we saw how they ended last season. Remember, at the point of, at the point of the start of the season, they were in crisis, and they actually steadied their ship. They finished the season well, and they started the season. They, they started the season very well. You know, going on training camps in Spain, doing everything necessary. They've had the, the necessary supports and everything. So I'm not really surprised with what with what happened with uh, Rivers Rivers United actually beating Real Bamako in that game. I, I was expecting them to. You know, hand them a very good uh, uh, thrashing, and that was what they did. Okay, that's what they did in that thrashing. Yeah. Pictures from that venue for all the players yeah. coming to the party and playing well, showing that hey, they can actually do this. Mm. But then the opponents, next one after this, as I can see them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so are we are we still at that level where we? I mean, we're scared of opposition from. No, we shouldn't. From Sudan. Uh, we, we, from anywhere, I don't think we should be scared of the opposition, okay. you know. Uh, what, 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 just do your own homework, you know, prepare very well for the game. Uh, get there and do your business. Mm. How about Rangers, in, uh, Rangers International? Rangers International, good one for Goalless. them too. Uh, that was a very risky uh, Oh, well, you know, see, it depends, uh, Tayo. You, you, you go into games, you have uh, different strategies to, you, to prosecute uh, certain games and, and how you want to approach them. So Rangers, they knew what they needed to go and do okay. and they actually achieved it. It might not be as easy or as hard as you, you you would have thought it would be if you had seen the game. So I think they just went there and they had the business and they, and they got yeah, the business. They what they were supposed to do. Yep. That game ended um, goalless um, between um, Rangers and Jess Sara of Egypt. And Rangers are obviously advancing on, on a way goal uh, rule. For Rivers United, it was very convincing. 4-0 uh, win over AS Real Bamako of Mali. Uh, they advanced 4-0 on aggregate after playing a goalless draw last week in Mali. So both sides through to the next round. They're not through to the um, group stage, stage no. yet. They're so they're through still... to the first round. Exactly, that because preliminary. that was the prelims. Mm. Now they get to play, Rangers play Zamalek and Rivers play um, Amarek. Amarek. Uh, tough, 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 tough oppositions, tough. but it doesn't mean that they cannot they overcome it. You know, Rangers, uh, Nigerian champions, although they haven't I had mean, the they, best they, of starts uh, uh, to this new season. But hey, yeah. it's, the, it's the continent. It's a different ball game. They've, they've not been at this uh, competition for how many years now uh, you know, in a long while, and they would want to actually leave a mark. So I, mm. I, I, I know Zamalek would but go to that game. how confident are you, though? Zamalek, for example, Zamalek would go into that game, you know, with the same mindset that, okay, this is Rangers FC yeah. of, of Nigeria. They are not pushing. Nigerian sure, champions. So, okay. yeah, Nigerian champions. So it, it will be a, it will be a cracking game. I think uh, if uh, Rangers can get a positive result away from home, mm -hmm. even maybe a draw or something, then that might just help them. Okay. That's, okay. Yeah, I mean, that's that's about it for the Champions League. I was going to talk about the Confederation Cup, where mixed fortunes. I mean, very interesting that the, the our teams have progressed in the tougher Champions League um, our tournaments. And the CAF Confederation Cup. Tough is relative here. Yeah, tough is yeah, relative, you know. Champions we, League, that's, we see, we, we that's see the creme de la creme of club competition yeah, in, in Africa. It's, 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 the rich, it's the richer one, you know. It has more glamour and everything. Mm. But uh, do, you th do you think the teams in the in Confederation Cup okay, are there Okay, let's, let's, let's have a confirmation of the results. Chinas, and you now tell me whether uh, these teams um, mm -hmm. have... You know, should be beating Nigerian teams on the continent. Wicked Taurus, you know, defeated RSLAF um, of Sierra Leone by long goal. But it wasn't enough for them because they lost two goals by the two goals to nil in the first leg. And our mastery of Egypt, not Zamalek, not Alali, our mastery defeated Ifeanyi by 1 nil. That one ended 1 1 on aggregate. Uh, body crash out on penalties and by three uh, goals to nil. So, I mean, look at the opposition. That's why I said the tougher one. I, 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 don't, I, don't, understand, I don't understand what you mean by opposition. It's, exactly. it's a cup competition, Tyler. Yeah, it's know. a cup competition. You know, it's two legs. You have to do your business. You have to do business at home if you can. Uh, Wicked tourists were not able to, you know, do what the opponents did. The opponent went and beat them at home, away from home, two goals to nothing. And Wicked mm -hmm. tourists knew what they, in fact, Wicked tourists knew what they, needed, what they had to do and they didn't do it. 
you know so let's forget about your position because these guys didn't come out to play they came to participate in the, in the competition because you, you, you see you see it all around uh, all around the world uh in europe africa asia everywhere cup competitions are very unpredictable when it comes to cup competitions sometimes most times form, form is being form is thrown out the window yeah. so we get to that they didn't do their business if i knew about our mastery, our mastery of course uh when after the first leg we saw where we, where we saw the result or one new one new victory mm -hmm. we all felt we hope was that, 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 that might not be yeah. because we're in North African op opposition, not talk about Egypt or um, Morocco, Algeria, teams from those countries, Tunisia. Anytime you play any of them at home, try and get as much goals as you can because there's almost always that possibility that they will get a result if we, uh, uh, you know, at their own home ground and watch what they did. Yeah, but unfortunately okay. for my family, but it was, it was a penalties. Yeah, it was okay. a penalties. I mean, disappointing it. results, man. There's no way you can spin this one, Cecilia. <laughs> disappointing that they're out <laughs> in the preliminary round. <laughs> it's, it's really disappointing, but then that's the way it ended. But for Rivers United, uh, where you have uh, Bernardo Voke, a society number, both of them sharing the goals for Augusto. But the coach has been reacting to this particular game. He says, look, he had to twerk. I mean, it's kind of uh, tactics a little bit in the second half after they've gone three goals up in the first half. We'll listen to him now. It was a game I think we would have done better. And, uh, in as much as I'm not um, completely satisfied with the showing of my team, most importantly, they start, uh, we were able to move into the next one. We had chances to follow goal. Technical attitude was supposed, uh, was supposed to be bury. Unfortunately, he didn't bury. And, you know, he was like uh, feeling very bad with himself. It's up to him for him to continue working very hard. And I think um, he'll be able to convert this chance. If we had not uh, been the better side, the goalkeeper wouldn't have, uh, have so much work to do. Most importantly is that we kept a clean head. We kept a clear head. We were able to keep a clean sheet, which was a uh, paramount to make us qualify into the next one. You know, it's just for us to switch over from the uh, continental competition now to the league competition. We play on Wednesday, and hopefully we're going to see a league team by Wednesday. Yeah, that's Imama reacting to the game and that goal let's draw. But that's what, just what they needed. Now, the focus is going to be definitely on the league. And Wednesday, they will be in action. But the league, they're not doing so well. When they catch Champions League, they're through to the first round. That's what is important for him. Now, quickly, you just react to what he had to say concerning, you know, this particular game, saying that, look, what we're going to do is to ensure that we're through to the next round now. But then... Focusing on the cap, focusing on the league will just be the next step for them. We're going to break now. We'll come back. We'll be talking with uh, the other coach talking about Stalin Eguma of Rivers United. <laughs> 